No, 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 oi, 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 I can hear mew, mew, mews coming from the house. Oh, 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 hello, guys. How you guys doing? Today, we are react to another video. My best, my best buddy, Brandon the Brony Pony, uh, Equestria Girls. A bro, a brony at Cantor, Cantor High. Hi. Uh, episode one, real life human meets Equestria Girls. Anyways. Um, he wanted to re uh he wanted me to react to this, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, yep, Brandon the Pony. We should probably fix that. Uh huh. Bingo, Brandon the Brony Pony Pony. Yeah, Brandon the Brony Pony. Brandon the ooh. Wait, one question. Did someone like record this? Because if someone did, how how did you get the how you get the camera to just move in the air like that? Did someone record this? Hmm. Hold on, just a sec. I'm gonna get my. I'm just gonna get my. My drink. It was a normal day in a small city in California. Oh yeah, people California. People shooting off smuggled fireworks as they usually do around the area. And people drove by with their radios blasting rap music. Heh, <laughs> yeah. The story starts with Brandon Hackwith. He was just enjoying a normal evening like any other. Laying down on his twin-size bed. And is currently binging My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Yep, that's basically me. Whoa! Hold up! My buddy got a whole beard. Oh, okay. Well, how long has it been since I last seen them? Probably about like, probably like one or two years now. Sunsets backstage pass. But that man got a beard. A clean beard. That man go get all the mares. Oh, a little pinky. Yeah. Me too, buddy. But unfortunately, she's a cartoon character. Oh well, guy can dream. <laughs> yeah. Me, you both, buddy. Right. Tacos in the oh, who put who put tacos in toasters? There's a reason why it's literally called a toaster. Toaster is only for bread, literally. I think you could put some like some crackers in there or something. Damn, but sunset looks so badass. Um, it, uh, you bet. Oh, 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 now you. What's happening? Oh no, guys, the Pibby glitch. Okay, the Pibby glitch is is coming to the to the MLP universe, and you know, things are things are just about to go down. Or, or not. Whoa! Causing him to dart his eyes over the TV set. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is not part of the show, so something is weird is going on here. Uh -huh. The TV flashed brightly, blanketing the room in an ominous Whoa! Okay, that's a little too bright. Shielding his eyes. Holy shit! What's going on? The silhouette appeared to be female. Female? Very similar. Soon. The silhouette was revealed to be none other than Sunset Shimmer, and she was animated in the inquest. What? Oh, <clears throat> sorry about that, but what? She actually came to the real world. The girl's animation style. Okay, am I seriously experiencing a 
Who Framed Roger Rabbit situation. Hell no. Sunset Shimmer. Yes, I yes. I know I had schizophrenia and all, but this feels way too damn real. How are you even here? Because that this is, is really real, bro. No, bitch. I mean, no, no, Sunset. This is no dream. This is the real world. I'm not sure, but I know for a fact that I'm not dreaming. Yes, yes, you're not. I never knew my schizophrenia could ever You're not hallucinating either. Who are you? Oh, uh, that's Brandon Hackwith. You're Sunset Shimmer. Please tell me I'm just hallucinating and this isn't real. Because if this is really real, I swear I'm gonna squeal. Sunset then feels lightheaded. Passes out, falling into the carpet. Well, okay, that just happened. Um. Earlier that day had gone by normally. Everything seemed fine. Sunset was happy with her life. She was finally cleaning her attic like she said she would five weeks ago. Bruh. <laughs> she packed the last of her boxes when she decided to check the attic. She stopped, noticing an old tape set. Huh? How did that get there? Does that say uh, home? So dusty. <sighs> Brushing off the dust, the VHS tape simply read "home." Yeah, the that's rest it. was scratched off. She remembered buying a box of these from a record shop for dirt cheap, something to keep her entertained. Eh, why not? I've got nothing better to do. Yeah, true. That is true. Whoa, who's that? What the heck? Bro, whoa! What? <laughs> what? Okay. Seizures warning. I should probably put that down. Seizures warning right now. Whatever. I'm gonna hit the hay. She the hay. I'm gonna hit something too. <laughs> Trust me, it won't be a hay. Normally I would be upset, but I guess you get what you pay for. Yeah. Besides, not all of the tapes were bad. Some of them were pretty good. Yep. Okay, fair point. Or actually, fair enough. She lay still on the floor, unconscious but breathing. Hey, are you alright? Wake up! Please, speak to me! Brendan yelled. Hey, you're gonna be okay. I got you. Yes, Brendan yes, she will. To carry her the what? And he heard Brendan, no! No! Voice. Get away from that portal! What the? Um, who is this right here? Is this Brandon or. Rarity? I think that's rarity. That's rarity. That gotta be rarity. For a second there, I thought that was Joey. Oh, like, no. But that's rarity in the background. Um, did anyone know? Okay, do anyone know what he just said? Because I have no idea what he just said. I clearly do not speak that language. Whatever language he's speaking. Really? Who said that? I have no idea what he or she even said. said. Goodbye, Mary. John Jr. Uncle John. Mary? Everyone else. Wait, what? I miss you all. Thanks for all of the memories. Both good and bad. Are you crying? What's going- I'll always remember you guys. Wait! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. A theory, a theory. I think he's crying and telling everyone to goodbye because he's not going to come back to the earth because he's going to live in Equestria now. I think, I think. He exclaimed with sorrow, tears running down his cheek as he entered the portal. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably shout down the tear right now. Beautiful intro. Eh, 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 eh. Beautiful intro. Rarity, uh huh. Pinky, yep, Pinky Pie. Applejack, mm hmm. Sunset Shiver. Brandon Hackwith. Oh, Starlight Glimmer! Simp, you a simp! I know you guys saw Starlight Glimmer in the background. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. You a simp, man. You simp for her. Literally. 
Not only her, but Twilight Sparkle and Sunset Shimmer. And some other villains, too. Wait. Now I think about it. Do you guys starting to think that Brandon only simp for reformed villains? Yeah. But hey, I still ship them. Based on the Discord roleplay. Shoot, I wish I was there three weeks ago. Portal to a familiar world? Man, look at that beard. I can never get over that. He looks so dang oh awesome in it. Whoa. Brendan looked at his hands. Wow. Taking notice of his new surroundings. Whoa, freaky. I'm a cartoon. Yeah, freak. Yeah, yeah, freaky indeed. The street below and recognize it immediately as Sunset Street. No way. I'm in Cantalot City. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, okay, okay chill, 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 bro. Chill. Oh. Before you knew it, the crack eventually got bigger. Well, damn. This blows. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh god. That looked painful. What the hell was that? I don't even want to I don't I do I do not even want to think about that. Whoa, hey, are you okay? I feel like I got hit by a train. My head hurts like hell. Ah! I do I do not want to think about that. That looked painful as hell. Yeah, yeah, indeed. I don't know. You were just sort of Brandon then remembered how he got here, as if it came back to him. Oh, I remember now. He came through the, the portal on my portable DVD player, I think. And I followed you here. After hearing a strange voice telling me that my existence would become intertwined with this world, whatever that means. Yeah, whatever that means indeed. Ah. Uh, Bro, who made... Right? Who made these arts is so... Awesome. No. She points up the stairs. In the bathroom. Behind the mirror. Thanks. I'm gonna go get one. Sure. Call her if you need me. Hey, Sunset Shimmer, I need you. There's a big ass cockroach coming near me. Please help. Nah, nah, nah. I'm playing. I'm playing. Is that a clock in the background? Brandon. And for me, I am Ladanian Otis, but m most people call me Mook. Nice to meet you, Sunset Shimmy. Brandon blushes a little bit. Brandon Hackwood. Weird. I could have sworn I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, yeah, I told you earlier, remember? You came through my portable TV player, and I'm pretty sure I told you my name then, too. So you're telling me it wasn't a dream? Well, no. No. I don't think so. No, it wasn't. Brandon then placed his hand on sudden such cheek. Um. Exactly as soft as a girl's cheek from his world. Whoa. The same texture, everything. You definitely feel real. You're going to feel something in a moment if you don't get your hand off my cheek. Oh, yeah. Brandon quickly. Yeah, we both know such as Shimmer, and you know, uh, she, she don't play no games. Yeah, she will beat you. His hand off nervously. Trust me. A bit intimidated by the fiery haired girl's threat. Trust me. Fine. Don't test. Probably a side effect of the medication. That and you hit your head pretty hard when you fell. Yeah, no well, kidding. Tell you what. If you take the bed, I'll take the couch for tonight. There's one thing Fluttershy taught me. It's that a good rest can always mend injuries. Yep. Think you can walk up those stairs by yourself or do you need some help? I think so. Ow, ow, ow. Brandon then collapsed back into the couch due to a sprained ankle. Nope. Can't walk. Figures. So yep. Did your leg pretty bad. Right. Yeah. Come here, you Not right. only the leg, Sunset but the face. Jeez. Who made this art? This 
This looks so good. Thanks for the sunset. Seriously. I seriously owe you one for this. You really didn't have to do this for me, but you did. You've been so kind to me. This is probably gonna be like a whole movie. Judging by the Judging by the fact that this reaction is literally 27 something long, yes, 20, 27 minutes long, ain't nothing. Min but I'm literally only like 13. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair point. Yeah, Brandon, have a good rest. Yeah, Brandon, have a good I mean, have a good rest, man. Brandon had eventually drifted off into a deep sleep. As the hours had passed, and he began to dream that he was on a romantic date with Sunset. Oh, beautiful! Thank you so much, Sunset. Let's enjoy this time together for as long as we possibly can. I wouldn't have it any other way, you dork. Now shut up and kiss me, all right? But before you do, there's something I need you to do. What's that, my beautiful princess? Wait, wait. <laughs> and then shot out of his sleep, panting heavily. Gee, Sunset, what was that for? I was having a dream. Not about you or anything. Someone's here to see you. Now get your scrawny butt out of bed. Jeez. Okay, okay, geez. Je wait, someone is here to see me. Why she so mean? Who? Bro, that was actually kind of funny. How, that was actually kind of funny of how the fat man, she literally said, shut up and kiss me. But then he gets me, she also said, hey. I need to do some. Then Brenda said, "Sure, what's up?" Could you imagine to me that someone literally just scream inside your ears while you sleeping? Like, wake up! <laughs> oh man, that never get old. A fairly tall blonde woman wearing a red velvet turtleneck and navy blue jeans comes upstairs. Oh, hello. Oh, um. What up, lady? Brandon said, feeling a bit shy around this unfamiliar woman. I happen to be new in this neighborhood. Sunset and I were just talking about how you needed some parents to take care of you. Are you willing to accept us as your adoptive parents? Brandon's face immediately lit up with joy and excitement. Perhaps he could have a new life here after all. Can you please adopt me too? Wait, really? Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I am serious. Don't worry. Look, 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 can you also adopt me too? Mainly because I want Brandon to be my well, my big brother. So you'll be my new mom? Brandon asked with excitement and eagerness. Yes, I will. I even have the adoption papers already signed. Lucky. Brandon then frowned a little bit. Just so you know, I came here from somewhere really far away, so the city is very unfamiliar to me. Lightning Star immediately <gasps> gasped in shock. How long were you on your own? Brandon blushed a little bit from embarrassment. I mean, if you really want to know the truth, pretty much less than a day. I literally just got here yesterday, almost instantly too. It was almost as if I got here instantly, like through a portal. Are you all right? What happened to your leg? Are you seriously, Brandon? How do you how, how do you not remember any of this? But you suddenly remember how the fats meant that. That you. Oh, dang it. I forgot. Dang it. I'm fine. I just fell through the roof. I just sprayed my I know that hurt. Brendan rolled his eyes with a shy smile. And so it begins. Sprayed? Ankle? You are not fine, mister. You are hurt. Hurt. Oh, this will not do. I am calling off work. Sunset, can you let my husband know? Already on in this star. Excellent. Now then, to tend to this awful wound. Brandon looked down sheepishly at his feet. So, um, is it official then? Are you my new mom now? Yes. And from now on, I will care for you. Yeah. Thanks. Me too. Man, boy, but both of y'all just look so related. Oh. Yeah, forget that I said that. Oh, oh yeah. Lightning Star takes Brandon's arm, leading him into his new home. Sunset is outside talking to a man who seems to be surprised, but is more surprised when he sees his wife pull their newfound son inside their house and into the kitchen. 
Now, just who exactly is she bringing in this time? It's your new son. Oh, oh. Well, unfortunately, I've got to get to work. I'll see him better after I get home, though. Okay, then. The man then gets into his car, starting up the engine as he drives off towards his job. Man. Easy, Mom. Not so rough. My ankle still hurts. Oh, and I hope you don't mind me calling you Mom. Sorry, sweetie. I'm just very worried about you. Yeah. She definitely cares about you, man. But she cares about you a little bit too, too, too much now. Jumped a child for a very long time. Oh. But each time she had tried, the child was either a troublemaker or all of the children had been adopted already. Well, Sabine, can you like at least adopt me? I mean, my I mean, my OC do not even have a mom or a dad. And plus, I want Brendan to become my big brother anyways. Lightning had been wanting to be a mother for a long time, and she was so happy that her chance had finally come. She could just cry. Brandon got comfortable on the couch, resting his hurt ankle on the pillow placed underneath it by lightning. That is okay though, right? Me calling you mom? I just want to make sure it's all... You are perfectly fine calling me whatever you want. Okay, thank you, mom. Brandon smiled. Brandon waited for his new mother to come back with some ice. <sighs> I'm honestly really excited to have a new family. You never really can have a new life again. Brandon said, talking to no one in particular, just himself. Lightning then returned with a pack of ice for his ankle. Sweetie, I got some ice for that nasty wound. Oh, thank you, Mama. I appreciate you. Uh, oh, dang it, she talked about Brandon. Don't hesitate to call for me. Okay, I understand. Also, um, kind of bummed because, well, I didn't intend on coming here so suddenly. All my electronics are back in my old home. I literally have no way to use the internet. My whole life was on the internet. Hmm. We'll have to change that. If you go to school, which you will, by the way, you'll need a way for us to contact you. Yeah. Um, so, is there, like, any way I can get a cell phone, possibly? I recently bought a new phone. I'll give you my old one to use for now. She walks off for a moment, returning with a fancy smartphone and charger. Oh, thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. So, um, do I have any siblings? Not yet. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Since Brandon don't have any siblings, adopt me. Adopt me. Please. Please. Who'll be our first? Oh, well, that's okay. I don't mind. I kind of miss being an only child, to be honest. Well, don't get too used to it. We plan to have many, many children. Well, that's fine. And I barely be one of them. Please, I really hope. I really hope. I'm happy to have a big family as long as I'm accepted into it. Brandon said with a smile. Ah. She smiled. Oh, so cute. Glad to hear this. Can I have a hug? Brandon asked with a sheepish smile. Of course, you're always welcome to hug me. Lightning then opened her arms, and Brandon then gave her a big warm hug. Brandon had felt happier than he ever felt in his entire life. He finally had a new family. Yep. And he was feeling much better about starting a fresh new life in a brand new world. Thank you, Mom. I hope it isn't too soon to say this, but I love you, Mom. I love you too, my son. I can't wait to meet my dad. Lightning gave a warm smile. And I can't wait for you to become my big brother, Brandon Hackwith. She couldn't be more happy to have a new son after all these years of trial and error. Yep. You definitely need to rest first before you meet your dad, especially with that sprained ankle. Okay, I understand. I mean, she, I mean, she does have a point. Um, can I tell you the truth about me? I truly hope you'll still want to be my mom after I tell you this. It's not bad, but it may shock me. What could possibly shock me? Well, oh, wait for it. Go ahead, say it. You'll understand better when I explain it to you. Okay. Basically, I'm from another world. I came here through a 
<laughs> that boy said wormhole. Uh, wait, a wormhole? Like, you mean like those holes, you know, that be, that be inside the pool and stuff? I'm sa wait, wait, sister. Wait. Oh, I remember that Brandon, that Brandon had a sister on Discord. I wonder what happened to her. Me too. I love you too, son. Well, stop playing. Oh. Whoa! What did you say, like, man? The fact that you literally said to be continued so deeply, kind of do give me, kind of do give me the Discord vibes. Trust me, we both know Discord. That little Jaconiquist. To be continued. By Brent. Okay. Wrote in by. Oh. Wow. What? I'm so. I'm so. I'm so. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, background editor. What the? Heck? Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Oh. I should be ashamed of my damn self. I mean, to me, this whole time I've just been left out without even. Hey, bro, kind of. But hey, but then again, I got him back, so you don't. That's what you have to worry. Okay, my stuff is literally on five percent. This this need to hurry up. However, not everything is as it seems. On the other side of downtown Canterlot City, a packed tour van was traveling on the road again. Oh. However, oh. there was a complication. <sighs> Great, another red light. Duh. Again? How many traffic lights does this street have? A lot. Two? We're literally in public! Let's so what did you expect? I think I saw a human. You reckon we should go talk with it? Dude! Everyone- yeah, Bro, everyone at that place is human. Even me! Yes. Yay! A new boy toy! What? Well, that depends on whenever he's not. He's actually worth keeping Sonata. Really? Aww. Okay. I am actually this close to slapping one of them. Like- hey. Wait a minute. Who she? As a matter of fact, I can. Can what? Who is this mystery person? Oh. Now to me, this is getting interesting. I mean, hey, the whole video was already interesting, but now to me, this is getting even more interesting. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Bloopers. Somebody's, I always feel like somebody's watching me. 
Cause someone is watching you literally. Someone is literally watching you. Yes. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. I'm gonna try that again because that was absolutely cringe. If I quit. I also have a Nintendo Switch. Don't ask why. I'm in my 40s and I have one of those. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> no, I'm not actually in my 40s. That was just. <laughs> you know how sometimes people will add things into a line. Yeah. That, that was a joke. Brandon, is that you? I can literally hear you. Yeah. <laughs> again? How many traffic lights? <clears throat> Let's try that again. With his twilight ducky morak ha 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 Lightning Star takes Brandon's arm, leading him to his new room. New home. Lightly, uh, Lightly. <laughs> light, light, bruh. To be continued. To be continued. <laughs> What? Post credit scene. Well, okay, y'all, that was it. Um, to be honest, that video was heartwarming, good, so sad, interesting, and just funny as hell. Um, hope you guys uh go to his channel. Call Brendan the Brony Pony and show him some love, give him some support, you know, because trust me, I am very interesting. Um, give him and um, our um, our other friends, uh, the voice actors, um, SE Productions, um, Moving Target, everyone who helped to make this video, go subscribe to them. Um, I don't really have the channel, so I'll have to ask Brendan. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, uh, see you next time. Peace.